welcome to the School of Love, the place where miracles are normal. Hello and welcome to the School of Love, the place where we learn practical tools based on scientific research towards improving ourselves, living life to its fullest and contributing to the best of our abilities to the world around us. I am Dr. Maria Grejdian and I am a professor of media studies and anthropology at Hiroshima University. In my free time, I am doing my best to guide you in building up a life of contentment, joy and fulfillment while applying lessons learned in school to overcome the difficulties and challenges as well as the insecurities of the real world. In today's video, I talk about the concept of pragmatic love and its three main ingredients, compassion, courage and commitment. I decisively dis distance myself from the syntax pragmatic lovers, which is increasingly employed in psychology with reference to those people who are cunningly looking for partners who might be beneficial to them, sometimes in their partner's own detriment, mostly in terms of social economic security, but sometimes also in terms of status and power. So that my, my paradigm of pragmatic love encompasses the positive aspects of a healthy, mature, warm-hearted approach to oneself and to those around us. By the end of the video, this will be very clear, I hope. And now, first things first, that is two disclaimers. The first disclaimer serves to strongly emphasize the fact that this YouTube channel, The School of Love, is not part of my educational and research activities at Hiroshima University. It is nonetheless part of my privilege, joy and sense of duty to propagate and implement knowledge, information as well as motivation and inspiration outside the limited framework of academic endeavors. Together, we can build up a better tomorrow for as many of us as possible. The second disclaimer relates to the fact that I am a trained musician and musicologist, not a psychologist, therapist or counselor. The ideas I am sharing in my videos reflect my deep going preoccupation with life, my own life and other people's life and express the results of my experiences, research and for better or for worse, my failures and my recovery from those failures, recovery which is continuously ongoing. The ideas expressed in the videos on this channel named The School of Love cannot and may not and must not replace the consultation with specialists in whichever areas of your life you might have questions or you might struggle with. If you are new to this channel at this moment, I would like to ask you to please consider subscribing, sharing, liking, commenting. Thank you very, very much. This helps us not only with that mysterious algorithm, which seems to dominate the galaxy of YouTube, but also with contributing to the expansion of the community of humans doing their best to impact positively the world and those around them by discovering their authentic selves and living life wholeheartedly. Thanks again. And now back to um, today's topic, which as I said, is my thoughts on pragmatic love. So throughout history, love, love has been perhaps the most observed and praised phenomenon in its various appearances, experiences and delusions. From an emotion to a mental state, love as pure love seems to have positioned uh, itself at the center of humanity's preoccupation with itself. In contrast to that, the uh, my, my, this video encompasses the three core characteristics of pragmatic love, that is compassion, courage and commitment as displayed in, in, in our daily endeavors. The central paradigm of pragmatic love is defined both as a state of mind comprising emotions, thoughts, ideas, and as a necessity to action in the realm of quotidian events and challenges. In order to observe the internal structure of pragmatic love as creatively explored in, uh, by various um, cultural events around us, um, and in light of its core features, compassion, courage, and commitment, I follow the protocol in this video of defining each of the concepts and subsequ subsequently crit critically observing them. So the first element is compassion. 
and compassion the way i see it is um is self love as acceptance of others radical otherness so others in their radical otherness and radical otherness is a concept pro promoted or um, initiated and then promoted by Emmanuel, Emmanuel Levinas in, in in his book or throughout his book uh, his, his philosophical books so compassion is one of the three elements contained in the structure of pragmatic love as an essential attitude defined as the the ability to feel identify with and integrate the emotions of someone else so two parameters are fundamental in the equ equation of compassion empathy and integrity empathy means the uh, precisely the skill to immerse into the emotions of someone else to feel them at the same level as the other person generally there are two categories of empathy cognitive referring to a type of empathy in which someone else's emotions are rationally known without any real involvement of feelings and emotional which is the one described which is the one i refer to usually integrity on the other hand implies the ability of the of the empathizing subject to keep his or her own individual boundaries and not to get dragged by and into the emotional flows and ebbs of other persons regardless of how strongly connected they might be while empathy is the foundation of interhuman interactions it is integrity which allows compassion to become a functional skill we can see this very often around us particularly if you are familiar with the communities of so-called empath who are always complaining of getting drained by other people and by other people um, emotions and thoughts it is in fact our duty i to set up boundaries and to enforce them so that uh, other people do not uh, drain us so that other people do not find themselves um, turning into energy vampires from our perspective the second element of pragmatic love is courage which refers in this in my understanding and particularly for this video it refers to living wholeheartedly and this comes from um, the books of Brené Brown where she describes um, in depth how important it is to live wholeheartedly to live with your entire whole heart to open your heart to events and to experiences and to take them as they come and then to learn uh, from them instead of avoiding life so the word courage has developed from the latin word cor which means heart <clears throat> traditionally it refers to the quality of mind which enables one to meet danger and trouble without fear because the heart is the seat of emotions and hence keeps one's spirit, temperament, way of being. Boldness as a choice and willingness to confront agony, pain, danger, uncertainty, intimidation, compounded by the moral fortitude and physical strength to act in accordance with higher values in order to protect those in need, are essential parts of courage as it has been transmitted throughout the centuries. Recently, though, the understanding of courage has shifted from its initial meaning of a direct confrontation with adversity towards a softer approach the ability to live in the present to enjoy one's life and to immerse oneself in the authenticity and vulnerability of being one's true self therefore living authentically faithful to one's nature and propensities rather than adapting to social pressures and in tune with one's vulnerability referring to the enthusiasm of opening up and sharing one's innermost thoughts emotions expectations with others have slowly turned into the crucial component of the late modern conceptualization of courage the third element of pragmatic love is commitment which i conceptualize as perseverance in gratitude and respect so the third and probably the most important characteristic of pragmatic love is commitment it binds compassion and courage into the flexible unpredictable network of life and allows them to essentially contribute to the functionality of individuals the three elements constituting commitment or perseverance that is the ability to keep on going even when the perspective seem bleak and the energy is low or particularly in those moments the second element is gratitude 
which is the capacity to see events, humans, things, as part of a greater whole, instead of internalizing them as insurmountable obstacles. And thirdly, respect, which is the skill to allow everyone and everything to exist in their own radical truth, irrespective of our expectations. Commitment goes far beyond the obligation to keep one's promise. Commitment is an existential attitude which serves simultaneously as the moral compass in times of confusion, so that difficulties are not only observed and defeated, but crucial lessons are drawn from them as well. So eventually, when we talk about pragmatic love, we can conceptualize it phenomenologically speaking, so as an experience uh, very similar to the experience of or. So this video has been focusing on the core characteristics of pragmatic love as a means to conceptualize and develop a sense of urgency towards the necessity to embrace rather than reject, as traditionally taught, one's budding uniqueness. So, and in connection with, as I said, pragmatic love can be easily understood as or which again un is understood as an essential attitude which allows the consistent exploration of one's individual embedding into the socio-economic system, be it external or internal, in a light-hearted, non-judgmental manner. This puts O as a phenomenological equi equivalent of pragmatic love in direct correlation to the sublime, as described by Robert Greene in his writings, a combination of Sigmund Freud's Oceanic, oceanic feeling and the Stoics' understanding of one's mortality as expressed in Memento Mori. It might be argued that self-awareness of one's own humanity begins with the reflection of the transcience of human existence in relation to the potential endlessness of artificial intelligence and bio-engineered -engin entities created to simplify life. At the same time, what has been conceptualized as pragmatic love permeates the sordid numbness of quotidian flow of events and allows for a sense of awe to raise within ourselves. This is perhaps the goal of arts and of movies and of uh, all these emotional constructions around us to awaken sleeping warriors in viewers, in consumers, uh, in participants and to experience send them on irres irresistible journeys of self-discovery. So thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for joining me today. That would be for today. And uh, as always, I'm looking forward to welcoming you very soon again. Love and peace to you all.